Hey everyone. All right, today's video will be over how to solve two-step inequalities. Your objective, I will be able to solve two-step inequalities using inverse operations. So we have an example of a two-step inequality right here. And as you can see, it looks very similar to a two-step equation. The only difference is you have an inequality symbol rather than an equal sign. So our steps are very similar. There's only one new one, and I have that here in red. So we're gonna use an inverse operation to move the constant. We'll do the same thing to move the coefficient. But if the coefficient is negative, so that means if we have to multiply or divide by a negative number, then we're gonna have to flip the symbol. So if this was a negative two, when I got to the final step, I would have to flip the symbol to face the other direction. Then we would check and graph the solution. So let's do some examples together. Example one, we have four y minus five is greater than 11. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate the left and right sides. The inverse of subtracting five would be to add five. That cancels and we're left with four y. 11 plus five is 16. And I'm gonna go ahead and just rewrite that inequality symbol, just like I would when I bring down the equal sign in a two-step equation. So now I have to move the coefficient. So the opposite or the inverse of multiplying by four is to divide by four. So we're dividing by a positive number. So that means that my inequality symbol stays the same. We're left with one y and 16 divided by four is four. So our solution set is y is greater than four. That means any number greater than four can be plugged into this inequality and it will make it true. So when I check, I wanna use a number that's greater than four. Now you can actually pick any number you want. I'm gonna pick 10. So if we had four times 10 minus five, that should be greater than 11. Well, four times 10 is 40 and 40 minus five is 35. 35 is greater than 11, so we know that our solution is correct. So now let's go ahead and graph it. So I'm gonna put a four and I'm gonna put some numbers around it. Since the symbol is pointing to the right, I know that I can shade the graph to the right, and I am shading in values that are greater than four. And since our inequality symbol does not have the line underneath it, we do not need to fill in the circle because four is not actually a part of the solution because our solution has to be greater than four. All right, example two, y divided by negative two minus six is greater than a negative seven. So I'm gonna separate the left and right sides I'm gonna add six because that's the inverse of subtracting six. That cancels and we're left with y over a negative two. I'm gonna bring down the inequality symbol. I have a negative seven plus six. I'm adding different signs, so I take the difference and the sign of the higher number. Now, the inverse of dividing by negative two is to multiply by negative two. And since we are multiplying by a negative, that means that our symbol has to flip around. So now the symbol is gonna face to the left rather than to the right. So we have y remaining. We have a negative one times a negative two, which is a positive two. So now, our solution is saying that any number less than two is going to be greater than a negative seven whenever we plug it in and solve it. So let's go ahead and check this. So I'm gonna pick something less than two. I like zero. I think that's really easy to work with. So if y was zero, that would be zero over a negative two minus six and this should be greater than a negative seven. Well, zero divided by negative two would be zero. 
zero minus six is a negative six. Now, if we were to draw a number line, negative six would come before a negative seven, and negative six would be closer to zero. So yes, negative six is greater than a negative seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and graph this. So I'm gonna put two, and I'm gonna put some numbers around it. Now, our inequality symbol faces left, so I know I wanna to shade to the left. And as you can see, I have highlighted the numbers that are less than, than two. And then our inequality symbol does not have the line. It's not equal to two, so I do not fill in the circle because two is not actually included. It's everything less than two. All right, example three, negative x plus five is less than nine. So I'm gonna separate the left and right side. The inverse of adding five would be to subtract five. That cancels and we're left with negative x and nine minus five is four. So a negative x is less than four. Negative x is the same thing as negative one x because we know that one x is the same as x. So a negative one x is the same as a negative x. So that means our coefficient here is a negative one. So to get rid of that, we have to divide by a negative one. So since we're dividing by a negative, that means our symbol has to flip the other direction. So x remains on the left and four divided by a negative one would be a negative four. Now, as you can see, we had negative x is less than four. We simply just switched the signs. So if a negative x is less than four, then a positive x would be greater than a negative four. So we just kind of swapped the signs on those. So let's go ahead and check this. So that means my solution can be any number greater than a negative four. So zero is greater than negative four. I like to work with that because it's easy. So a negative x, so that would be a negative zero plus five should be less than nine. Well, negative zero, it's just zero. So we have zero plus five, that should be less than nine. And yes, five is less than nine. So we can go ahead and graph this. So I'm gonna put a negative four and put some numbers around it. Our inequality symbol is facing to the right or pointing right, so I'm gonna shade to the right. And our solution should be greater than negative four, so I have shaded in what is greater than negative four. Now there is no line here, so it's not equal to negative four. So my circle just stays open at negative four because negative four is not a part of the solution because it's only numbers greater than negative four. All right, now it is time for you to try. Make sure that you graph and check your answer and show all of your work. And we will see you next class day.